What's going on everyone, this is Family Jewels 7 x and today I'm going to teach you how to play the Battle of Little Slugger from Super Meat Boy. Welcome back to uh, another one of my tutorials. Uh, this is the second one in my series of 10 uh, video tutorials of uh, your most requested songs that I've done in uh, my two years of video game covers on YouTube. Uh, this is, of course, my arrangement, uh, so, uh, you know, you could uh, have a different arrangement and it's totally fine. Uh, but this is the most correct that I could get to the original song. So please check below in the description uh, for a uh, zip file of the backing track, uh, a PDF file of the tabs, and uh, the guitar profile so that you guys can uh, jam along at home. The tuning of this song, uh, I am uh, rocking the drop C again. I'll let you guys hear how that sounds. C. G. C, F, A, and D. Now all this is really is a, it's pretty much standard tuning, all tuned down one full step and then the low string tuned, turned down uh, two full steps instead. Um, the wah guitar is actually in drop D, uh, we'll get to that later, but pretty much I did all of these electric guitars in drop C, um, simply because that's the tuning I like, uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, composers like writing in C. Remember, the way that I'm going to be doing this is I'm breaking it up into, uh, pieces, uh, I lettered them in the, uh, tab. Uh, it's just the easiest way you guys are going to learn this. You don't want to try to learn this all the way through, uh, you want to break it up and then try each section slow and move them up, and then once you're done, put them all together, and this solo is a cinch, really, uh, you guys will have a lot of fun with it. Now I broke the uh, solo into four parts, A, B, C, and D. Um, that's so that it's a little bit easier to wrap your head around. Um, part A uh, starts with uh, this kind of a uh, ninth position minor shape. It's all... And then you kind of, you know, go around it a little bit, but it's all kind of in that area. Uh, part B incorporates this kind of, um, you know, arpeggio, like ascending arpeggio up to these sweeps that are like... Stuff like that. Um, then uh, part C incorporates some kind of far bends, some kind of weird picking patterns, uh, at least for me. Um, and uh, that's actually, I think C is the hardest to wrap your head around. And then uh, D, which uh, has some blinding speed tapping riffs that are really fun uh, once you get it up to speed. And then after that, I'll move on to the other, uh, the lead lines in the song. Um, but those are pretty straightforward. Uh, really, uh, the solo is the hardest part. I'm going to break this up for you, uh, play it a little bit slow, or play it fast first, and then I'll play it slow uh, so you guys can uh, figure out what the notes I'm playing are. Uh, and then once you're done, just put them all together and you'll have the solo. Not too hard.
Now, sorry some of those leads weren't as clean as I'd like them to be and not as clean as they were in the medley. Um, it's uh, In the medley, I had time to, you know, slow it down and uh, use a metronome and stuff. Uh, this time, I just kind of used a tab and just hoped for the best. Uh, but I know with the tab and with it slowed down that you guys will definitely be able to get it uh, very, very clean uh, and very, very fast. Um, and remember, the cleaner that you get it to sound, uh, the more impressive it's going to sound at the end. Uh, okay, so the next fun part is the uh, the wah part that, uh, you know, is the intro to the song. Um, for this, I'm using my Explorer, and we're going to be in drop D for this, remember? Uh, so the only difference is... Um, there's your D. A. D. Okay, so uh, now I've got my, uh, my wah pedal going. Um, for the uh, purposes of this video, I'm going to be using my Ibanez Weeping Demon. Uh, you can use any wah you want, uh, but this is just the one that I've got and I like the sound of. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I notated it right. I could be completely off. I don't know how to notate, uh, wah pedal stuff, but, um, I'll show you what I got. Um, and you know, you can yell at me in the comments if I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. For some of uh, the parts in the beginning, um, I do a lot of chugs and I do up, up strokes. Uh, it gives it a, a real, like a real heavy, almost like mid fold, like crap sound that actually gains a lot of uh, just heavy feeling to it. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but it sounds cool. You get those uh, high notes up there before the low notes. Uh, it sounds really beefy. So um, I'm going to show you actually the whole rhythm guitar part um, simply because it's really cool. Here we go. Now the bass is pretty much the same as the rhythm guitar in the uh, the solo section, um, but it does do some really cool stuff in the intro. And it does that same kind of progression again with a different rhythm later uh, during the build up to the solo. Uh, but other than that, the bass is the same as the rhythm guitar. See, it's not that hard after all. And that's really all there is to uh, Battle of the Little Slugger from Super Meat Boy. Um, I really hope you guys have a lot of fun learning this. I really hope you guys learn it. And uh, if you want, guys, to any of these songs, uh, please uh, throw me a video response uh, if you want to play it. And I'll definitely check it out and give you uh, some critique if you want. Uh, other than that, leave some comments if you have any questions, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, pretty much uh, just uh, check the description for uh, the zip file of the backing track and PDF and the you know guitar profile, all those goodies. Uh, and that's about it.